The East African crude oil pipeline public hearings have ended. The initiative by the Petroleum Authority is an avenue where the public's concerns are heard to ensure that they are addressed by the developer and relevant government entities. Project affected persons converged in Mubende, Rakai and Kakumiro districts, strategically selected for interaction with stakeholders from the public and private sector. We had to choose in the 10 districts what are the equidistant places where public holdings could be held, public hearings could be held, but also where the maximum project affected people were. Although the public hearings was crafted to provide a platform for the society to air their views regarding the environmental and social impact of the project, majority of the project affected persons were more concerned about the social aspects. Why don't you tell us the truth? We are working people, don't waste our time. Our people are not well mobilized. Although they have resources, they can supply most of the food staffs. Yeah, I don't see any effort to mobilize our people. The people around who are who are cultivating along that road abandoned the, the, the shambas for two years. No compensations were made. We are appealing to the government to come and address that issue with the people who are concerned. Let them make us responsible by also involving us in certain activities rather than bringing people from far away when you also have people who are learned, people who, can, who are strong, people who can do something in this project. This leads to an important question. Are the thousands of project affected persons perhaps well versed with what is at stake? We need to have a feedback from the people and this feedback we get in writing but also from these public engagements and public hearing. I would like to say we did 10 engagements in all districts last week and this week there are three bigger hearings. One of them is, is here now in, uh, in Rakai districts in, in Uganda. The ESI has been summarized, translated into every language and distributed to every village. We've created posters, brochures, there have been radio programs, uh, TV programs to explain the ESI and what is in it and how it's related to the project. The Tanzanian delegation led by the High Commissioner Aziz Mulima commended government of Uganda for the noble cause. So this is a very important step toward uh, the implementation of the project. Uh, you need to prepare the ground for the community uh, uh, sensitization because it is a very important step. They are all stakeholders of this project. Tanzania is a major stakeholder in Uganda's oil and gas industry. This is based on the fact that Uganda's crude oil journey to the international market will cover an estimated distance of about 1,147 kilometers from Utukula one-stop border post to the port of Tanga in Tanzania. The environmental and social impact assessment has been done in Tanzania, covered from Mutukula to Tanga. So now it is the stage at the ministry responsible for the uh, environment and uh, the agency to, to, to finalize the final bits. But um, the, the stakeholders, according to the law of Tanzania, has been involved. As you've seen, we've been participants, just like any other, and the presiding officer has been picking uh, the public views about the report. We've also introduced the report to the public. So what we expect now is we expect the presiding officer to document all the comments and concerns uh, he has received from the public and send a report uh, with recommendations to PAU and NEMA. The National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, a semi-autonomous institution charged with the responsibility of coordinating, monitoring, regulating and supervising environmental management, assured the public of stringent environment safety measures before during and after the construction of the pipeline. The pipes will come. The pipes will need to be heated. There will be some cover, there will be co whatever comes to the pipe, whatever waste, the people are going to be here. They are going to generate waste because everybody generates waste. All the waste must be managed in a manner that is stipulated. So that's also one very important thing. We're not going to allow them to behave like, the, behave like us, who may be dumping our things anywhere. No, that waste will be collected, 
and transported to waste treatment facilities that are established, and not only by licensed, licensed companies. In spite of successful public hearings, it's not yet clear when the final investment decision will be made. This ultimately slows down all proceedings that require that critical decision. Dennis Igor, for UBC News.